Marta, this is Ilona, Hello. as you can see, we're in the car and it's kind of loud because uh, we're getting the car washed for a second. Whenever you're in Veria, we just left from now, so whenever you're in Veria, you can get for 20 euros gas and then automatically they will like send you into the uh, car wash. I think that's a very good deal for by the free. way, just for free or for free, it's probably in the price of the gas yeah. anyway, but they're the cheapest in town. Plus. You get your car washed. And they're I think, very friendly. And they're super friendly. He showed a they picture like of his cat. cat. And you might think like, hey Marta, but it's like already like, okay, maybe you don't see it, but outside it's dark. You can see it there. It is really dark. That's the street lights. Look, look, look. We're going to have things on us. Look, what's going on? I like it. The only one who probably does not like it is uh, Durak, who's in the in his box again. But it's okay as well. I mean, uh, it's oh, the, we need to fix the mirror also because the mirrors are like both full the other way. <laughs> I think we're done also right now, aren't we? We're gonna skip to Nausa because yes, I did actually vlog today. So uh, let's uh, show that first. So we're still here. Today's the day that we're leaving, and I just want to show you Ilona's favorite spot in this house. Right there. Right. That's your favorite spot in the house, I believe. Yes. Every time when I see Ilona, like chilling a little bit and she wants to be nice and warm, it's very nice in here because Ilona's grandpa makes these own pellets and they have the stove literally right in front of here. It's like 30 degrees or something. Definitely, it's like summer, like straight up Greek summer here in front. And then Ilona's just sitting here in this corner from the stove. I love this corner. Look, they've got some water on top so the humidity doesn't drop too low. They've got stuff drying on top. It's nice and warm. They've got wood and pellets and you've got Ilona. Funny thing, by the way, remember that we came here the first couple of days and this boy here was a little bit afraid of everything right now. He's enjoying it so much. Usually we don't let him on the table, of course. As you know, in Volos, he doesn't get on the table, on the cabinets, he doesn't climb on the kitchen. But here, he likes to sit in front of the fan because the laptop, of course, has some like warm air coming from the side. And then he just loves to sit here next to me and enjoy the sun also and look outside. Huh? He loves it here, really he does. Plus, you can make some awesome pictures when he looks this way. See? Hello, boy. And he's been hunting like secretly outside also. Like every time when there's a bird coming by, he loves to check it out. So, right now, time for me to edit a little bit. And then uh, we're gonna clean up here. And I'm gonna make sure that we get into the car. But you already saw us in the car, of course. Future history stuff, you know? <laughs> Actually, we need to make sure that we also ate good enough and that this boy ate so he's got food already but we are also going to eat something very 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 nice oh my god even the sunset today is awesome look at that oh okay he walks in by himself that's even better today we are eating some yankali something like this I think it's I, uh, eaten in a lot of countries but especially in like China you know it is dumplings or Chinese restaurants that's as far as I know that's how far my knowledge goes and it's made with a lot of dough and love mm. oh Shimkali. But how do you say it Ilona? Shimkali. Shimkali. yes Shimkali. 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 okay so you, they first start off with a uh, dough that is underneath here that was rising then you have more flour so they can make these little no nah, there it is got the dough it's like a pasta dough, and then you've got, and then you, they make it into little these little circles. You push them through here, so they can actually make them. What? 
Then the zima pastas, then the macaronadas. No, I'm <laughs> saying that it's like like that kind of pasta, like well, noodle and pasta. Me. And then I fill it up, these circles, with meat. What else is in the meat? There's a lot of onions and and a lot of onions. <laughs> and then they, they fold them closed. Actually, here, that's how they With ginza. And then we end up in the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm seeing, I'm seeing it. And then they lay them down here in very nice little packages, pretty much. And then they're going to be boiled. And then we can eat before we leave. And now they're all nice and soggy and tasty and we're gonna eat them and we should eat them very nice with our hands not with a fork because that's what they tell me all the time right yeah but they cannot eat with it so you're gonna eat with a fork yes. mm -hmm. She doesn't know. You just take one and then you don't drop it like Ilona just did. And you just turn it around. And there's probably water in here and I'm gonna burn my yes, mouth. Yes, you have to suck it in. Suck it! Ah, bravo, Michael. Uh, mm -mm. Uh, but I should not let it down because then all the juices come out. Anyway, super tasty. Kali Orexi, we'll see you in the car. It's <laughs> eh? Yes, 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 yes. Oh, we know, Mama. Bye. How is Yeah. So, we're back in the car. And, uh, well, for you guys, back in the car. But we're uh, right now just passing the first tolls. We just passed the exit for Athens. And we're in the car. And we have our first tolls. You forgot to take the exit. I almost took, I was so convinced by myself I have to take the exit for Thessaloniki, but it's like my mind, and then I told you, like, tell me when I have to take the exit, because I was about to take the exit to Thessaloniki, but we still made it towards Athens, and we're on our way right now to towards That's Athens exactly. to go to Bolus again. How was your time in uh, Nausa? Because I, I had a hard time actually leaving again. We loved to be with family, and it was a very nice evening also. Huh? Yes, I did not want to leave. No, we did not want to leave at, at all. 2.20 by the way. Yes. Alright, can I have my hand back, thank you. In uh, Greece, for the ones who do not know, you pay uh, a lot of the Odia. And it's, the Odia is called, it's, uh, it's tolls. So you pay here, every time at those toll booths, you pay money to make use of their uh, highways. Which are horrible. Which, no, they're super great. They're, they're one of the best in the world, I think. Highways? Yes, yes. Yeah. California, it's like a week ago. So you said about a week ago. You still say California for your phone for a month. Uh, not me, I'm Dutch. Gabby this. Hey, it's my parents' car. Gabby this. Gabby this. They always give you these. I'm driving. They're always giving you these receipts, and you, because you have to get, you have to have them when you're driving on the highway. You have to have them with you to show at the moment that you're being stopped. That you paid actually for your Diodia. Now it really fell. Good. Um, <laughs> we're now passing Koledros. What we're passing? Koledros. Okay. Probably some village, right? Yeah. But uh, if you're from Koledros, shout out to you. I have no <laughs> idea, but leave it in the comments. Or if you know anything about Koledros. Anyway, we're driving right now back to Volus. And I. Uh, I'm very happy actually also to be back in Volus again because it's my place that I know and I, I can move my own way around. Yeah. But I miss the people around and the good food and the company every evening and stuff like that. I don't want to go to work tomorrow. And Ilona just doesn't want to go to work. That's a thing also. So. <sighs> By the way, we have to show you something new in Volus because what? we were, we were oh, yes. on Facebook and all of a sudden I see Mayor Beos 
the, uh, he posted something online and we missed it. I wanted to show it so bad actually to you guys. But uh, we have uh, this here in uh, Evolus now. That's a roundabout and we're gonna pass it. They fixed it, they finished it when we're actually there. I'll pop a link up uh, here. Uh, wait, my hair goes that way, so there. There's the link where we actually made a little walk around the, the, the roundabout and they built it within a month almost. So yeah. I think they did a very nice job. I actually asked the girl at the gas station, remember? Yep. I asked her like, how long is it gonna take? She said, ah, another month. I'm like, yeah, right. Because Bells was like pushing it and, uh, and, and uh, I didn't do my fault. Anyway, uh, we're gonna skip back to, uh, we're gonna skip back to Volus and we'll show you if we're passing the roundabout, right? Yes, Because it is very well lit. I think it's a lit roundabout. So, when you enter Volos, you always have, uh, we're, we're right now driving here into Volos, you have to slow down because there are traffic lights and those traffic lights really keep up traffic, it's not very safe for everything around it, I mean they're like, oh it's a bad road as well. So then what did uh, Mayor Bea said then, uh, you know what, we have to fix this road, we have to make it a nice entrance also for Volos. So what did they say, we're gonna buy, build a nice rotonda. Uh, roundabout, you know, and I like roundabouts because in the Netherlands we seemingly used to love them as well. In the entire Montverland, in the uh, uh, area where I used to live, they did not do not have traffic lights. They have only roundabouts, and it works really good because it it makes traffic go very fast. Let's check it out. This is it. Oh, what nice! Wow, with a fountain and everything. Now it's the only thing like checking out a little bit how they are driving here. See, there's a welcome to Volo sign. And officially now I have to stay in the middle lane to cross straight through again. That's super weird though, because I should be on the outer lane. And that was it. That was the new roundabout. We'll go back again another day and then we'll show you a little bit of the roundabout. Welcome to Volo sign. We'll take a couple of nice Instagram pictures. Follow us on Instagram. I, I started to become a little bit more active again on Instagram. And uh, Facebook is gonna have a little change soon as well because we made a little fan page, but I'll keep you on, updated on that. Uh, skipping home right now. Hello. Hello, house. We missed your house. It's nice to be back, house. We've got a new TV house. Wow, house. I think we misunderstood the size of the TV that Ilona's dad gave us. Uh, yeah, he gave us the old TV. It look, it doesn't even fit and that needs to go instead of that thingy there. Just look at the sheer size difference. Okay, we're closer to this of course, but wow. <laughs> now I don't think that I'm going to uh, hang this beast up somewhere already today. I might try it actually. Well, I'm very tired after driving for three hours. Um, I'm very happy to be home. I'm, I'm very happy to sit with my own socks on my own carpet. It just feels very nice. And to look at what you guys sent. Look, we hang them all up here. I love them. I love it how it looks like this. And we're still waiting for some. Seemingly Greek Alta takes like ages. But we also got surprised because I've got uh, this little thing. This is like a ACS ticket that you get from the courier office. Seemingly there's a package waiting for us. So I need to pack it up tomorrow because today is ended and today it's already 10 o'clock. We drove for exactly three hours. Exactly actually. We left from 6.44 in Naosa and arrived 9.44 here at the front door. We thank you for watching. If you liked this video don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. Leave a comment down below because we love to read them and we always reply. If you're not subscribed yet really our channel is growing. We hit 700 subscribers. I'm very happy. Thank you guys. And uh, we're now going to snack on a little bit of milk with a cookie that we took from Naosa. We thank you for watching and we hope to see you in the next one. Bye!